Hey everyone, welcome to Keisha Gray's Dining Room Table. Today, we are going to make butter sauce and scallions. And I'm going to show you all the ingredients that you will need to make this meal. These are all the ingredients that you will need to make your butter sauce and scallions. You would need some chives and you would need um, some scallions. You would need your um, scallops, four sticks of um, real butter, not margarine, but real butter. And I have um, the unsalted as well as, well, two unsalted and two salted. You would need an onion, onion powder, Italian seasoning, um, the Goya adobo adobo sauce, and the applewood um, rub. I use that too. It, it gives it a smoky, give, gives all your food a smoky flavor if you like smoky. But if you don't like the ingredients that I'm using, um, the main ingredient for this dish is the scallops and the butter and the onion. You can put any kind of seasoning that you want uh to season your food some people might like um you might like spicy you might want to add some red peppers whatever whatever um that's that's fitting to your taste bud to begin the um butter sauce with the scallops the first thing you will have to do is chop up your chives now to make things a little easier and faster what you want to do is use your chick um, your kitchen shears <laughs> so these are the chives and what you what you want to do is open them up and you get about that much you take your kitchen shears in a bowl and you just cut Cut fine pieces. It smells so good. It smells like grass with a hint of onion. So we're cutting up the chives. Next, what we're going to do is cut up our onion. These are our onion. Now, these little pieces here at one end, you can cut them down to here and they will look like this and then you can sit these down in some water and they'll grow big root and you can take this and plant it in your kitchen to make more onion next you want to cut your onion your yellow onion first you want to peel it get your trash can and Peel the hull off as much as you can. And sometimes I find it easier to do it this way. Just cut the onion. Take the onion, as you can see, cut it down the middle. Then the two little ends here, here and here, cut them. And then the peel will come off. See? And you just have to shell the rest off. And that makes it so much quicker. Just take the ends and cut off the ends. 
Cut off another end, the other end. And you peel. It's so easy. Then you take your onion and you slice. You want to slice it. You don't want it diced up. You just slice it. Because you want, I like chunks. Now, you can dice it if that's what you want to do, if that's what you prefer. But I like chunks of onion in mine. So I'll just slice it. Now we're starting to melt our butter. Melt the butter. Um, you have your other ingredients already prepped and ready. Um, you have your sea scallops here. You have your um, your yellow onion. You have your chives, and you have your um, your onion stems. Got the name of it. Please forgive me. Um, you would want to season. Put your seasonings in before you add your onions. And I already picked the uh, seasons that I would want that I want inside of my um, my butter sauce. And because I said it's, it's butter sauce, I added plenty, lots of onions in mine um, to go to give it extra flavor for me. Um, but you don't have to add onions. If you don't like onions, you can add whatever you'd like. Um, but I, I chose oniony, oniony. Now I'm not going to use all the ingredients in this one dish, but I um, and I don't do measurements, so I don't. Um, I'll just probably put a handful of um, what's needed. Of the onion inside of the butter now that we have the butter all melted down some uh, we can start adding our seasonings so I'll start with the uh, adobo all-purpose seasoning Just put a little in there like I said I don't do measurements so I just put it in there and uh, I taste it afterwards uh, this is the chili powder. I'm not going to put too much of this in here because I don't know if it's going to be hot, hot. I want a little spice, but I don't like it. I, I, I don't want it really hot. Um, this is the Italian seasoning. I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. Garlic powder. Onion powder, and the apple, I'm sorry, the apple wood rub. Just put a little bit of that because I don't, I, I don't really know. I'm just trying something new with that one. Then the next thing I'm going to do is take a handful of these chives. Got a handful of chives. I'm putting my chives in. Then I'm going to put a little onion and the onion, um, the, the, I would call these chives too, for the bigger chives, the, the onion um, stalks, the grass onion. So now that I have all the ingredients in the pot that I'm going to put in, I'm put a little bit more onion. A little bit more. I should put the whole onion. Yeah, I'm put the whole onion. Yellow onion. Put that in there. I chopped it up. And the chives and everything. Okay, so now I'm going to let that simmer a little bit and give it a little stir. Stir. 
and let it simmer. Let that simmer a little bit. Let it let my onion cook down a little bit. And after that cooked down a little bit, then we're going to add our scallops. Now that the butter sauce has simmered a little bit, um, we would want we we're going to start adding in our uh, scallops. These are the scallops, and we're just going to add it in, and be careful because this hot butter will splatter all over you. And burn, it burns too. So what we're gonna do is add the scallops into um, the butter sauce. Then just let it cook a little while. Cook for about I would say 15 minutes. And I don't have um, a lid that will fit this pot. So what I can do is, let me see if that'll work. Yeah, just, just lay. No, that's not going to work. Huh. That's not going to work. We're just, we're just going to let it simmer for a while. And while that's cooking, and we are going to clean <laughs> my specialty. I love cleaning. A clean cook is a good cook. the butter sauce is simmering really well and as you can see the scallops are starting to get done they're starting to cook well and the onions are softening up Softening up. And just let it simmer for a little while longer. And you know what's good for uh, with with butter sauce? Make you some corn on a cob to go with it, and put the butter sauce on top of the corn on corn. Put the butter sauce on cut one. Put the butter sauce on top of your corn on the cob. It'll be delicious. It's just simmering right now. It's so looking, it's so buttery. And I taste it, it just tastes really good. But it's simmering. Let it simmer for about three more minutes. And this is the final product of the butter sauce. I call it the onion butter sauce. It has scallops in it, onions and chives. Um, this butter sauce would be good if you um, make you some corn on a cob or um, baked potatoes. You can pour the butter sauce on top. Um, and put you some of the onion on it and it's really good you should try to try this recipe and um, it's really good I wish I can show you um, how it look with corn on the cob but I don't have any corn on the cob right now but this is um, the butter sauce it has onions in it and chives and 
This is real butter sauce, not margarine. This is real butter. And I used um, four, four sticks of butter to make this. And if you want to, you can add more onion and um, chives or whatever. But like I said, this is my first time making it. And um, I tasted it. It's, re it's really good. It's really good. And you wouldn't just have a bowl of butter sauce. You would eat it with, um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's more of a topping for your corn on the cob, for the butter when you're corn on the cob. Or, um, or you can put it on um, your baked potato, just a little bit. Um, too much butter. Remember, high cholesterol, so you know, too much of that is, is no good. And, and I wouldn't eat this every day. But um, it's really good. Try it. And I believe that you'll like it too. This has scallop in it. It's really good. Try it. So guys, there you have it. The, um, the butter sauce. Uh, with scallop. Um, it's good with corn on the cob and baked potatoes. It's a good topping for those two items. Um, two things. Um, and you can be creative on what else you can top it with. You can probably, you you can. You can top it on, um, make you some salmon. And you can top it with salmon. It's a good topper. Um... Not for you to sit down and have a bowl of butter, butter, a butter sauce, no. But you, it's it's more of a topping. So I showed you the butter sauce, and um, I hope you all enjoyed watching. Um, please try this recipe. Um, it's really fun to make, uh, and and be creative as you want to. Um. But that'll be the end of this video. And I thank you all for watching. And case the rest around. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, so Faith says. Thank you guys. Love ya. Mwah.